Happy Father's Day, everybody. Debbie from Chalk It Up Fancy. <clears throat> I was just doing the project. I was like, you know what? I should go live with this. Um, and what this is, is it's, it's, a, it's a little canvas bag that I had picked up from um, Hobby Lobby. And I had some leftover um, transfer. And I wanted to try uh, doing transfer on fabric which it can be done. And I'll show you what I did so far. Um, they recommend that you wash and dry and iron uh, whatever you're going to be transferring on. So you could use a pillow, um, uh, you know, anything you, anything you want. I, I basically here have a, it's like a, it's like a tote bag made out of canvas. And the first thing I did was, um, figured out where my transfer was gonna go and I use Mod Podge uh, fabric for fabric. And I basically, you can kind of see where it's a little of a different shade. Um, I painted it on where I'm gonna put my transfer and I let it dry. It took about two hours for that to dry. And um, honestly, I can't remember the name of this particular transfer, but it's the one with the map on it from Redesign with Prima. And I am right now trying to figure out where the center is so that I can start uh, applying it. So um, I have my little ruler out here. And I'm eyeballing it to be right about here. So I'm gonna peel. Um, I'm gonna take the backing of my transfer off. And I'm going to eyeball this. Okay. And I'm just going to press it down. This is my first time doing this, so I have no clue how it's gonna come out. <laughs> hey Liz, how are you? Yeah, I'm not expecting to see too many people today. It is Father's Day. Uh, my husband's down in his shop. He just wanted to work in his shop, and I'm like, that's fine with me. I can get some stuff done. So basically, this is the tool that comes with the transfers. And I'm just going around and it feels like it's lifting off pretty easily. this tote bag at Hobby Lobby and I think I got it with 50% off so it really wasn't that expensive. I would say it was maybe between five or seven dollars and it's nice and big. And it's got some nice big pockets in the front and um, I've been wanting to try you know the, the transfers on fabric. I just haven't gotten around to it and uh, I was kind of feeling bored today so I decided to give it a try. Feels like it's starting to lift right now. It takes some scrubbing. But outside of this, it's, it's pretty easy to do. And they usually come out pretty nice anytime I use them. And this was a leftover one. I had a, that's what's nice about these transfers is you can get a very large one and you can just kind of break it up in pieces and uh, get a few projects out of them if you don't want to put them all or you can stick it all together on a piece of furniture, that works too. Okay, here we go. It's starting to lift. New, oh, you live in New Zealand. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Isn't Facebook amazing? The people that we can reach in different countries and everything, I love it. It's Monday morning, 
Well, I'm glad it's Monday morning there because I'm really enjoying my Sunday. It does feel a little stubborn. Okay, here we go. See, once you get the once you get a corner that'll lift, you can kind of work from that corner. I hope my hands aren't in the way. You see what I mean? I can start now working on this corner here. It is good that I can do the camera like that, but the bad thing is I have a hard time reading what you guys are saying. So I apologize if I'm not answering. If you have any questions, I will look when I'm done doing this. It's hard to watch and do this at the same time. Jamie's not with me. She's with her husband and kids. Here we go. See, that's coming out really good. This image is kind of a large stamps. Um, they kind of have a vintage look to them. I'll put it up close when I'm done pulling it off. Um, and it's kind of an outdoorsy type look. There's a duck fishing, that kind of a thing. Kind of has an L.O. Bean feel or an Orvis feel to it. I'm gonna say it's a little it feels a little harder than furniture. Now when I'm done getting this off, it feels pretty cool. Um you have to do another layer of the uh, Mod Podge to seal it. Here we go. Okay. If you lift these up slowly, um, you can kind of catch if it needs to be rubbed more. You just don't want to just rip it off. There we go. Look at this. How cute is that? So this is, it's like a tote, so when it's all the way open, look how big that is. Isn't that nice? And it has some little pockets here. So, I don't know if you can see that photo. Isn't that cute? So now what I have to do is I have to put a coat of Mod Podge on the top. of the image and then I just have to let that dry and it will probably take another two hours for it to completely completely dry I'm just using a chip brush, nothing special. If I was to do it over again, I probably would use more like one of those uh, felt, the felt brushes or the sponge brushes because um, 
this Mod Podge does have a little sheen to it and you probably would get like absolutely no brush marks at all if you use that. That's usually my go-to, but I ran out of them. So it's a chip brush. Very simple. And this is basically what I did before the transfer was on. I just figured out my square that I was gonna be putting this on and did this, uh, made the Mod Podge surface to give something to apply the transfer to. So um, I will say you're gonna to wanna to get as close to the image. You don't wanna really go too far off the image because you can kind of see, a, it gives it a different uh, sheen. And you can see that. I'm just giving it one more swipe make it smooth okay I'm gonna let this dry thanks for watching